Hello and welcome once again to Villa 81, where today we're looking at the Palm Pre. Starting off with the user interface, the touchscreen itself is easy to use. Unfortunately, that's where all the good parts end. We found that it's quite a bit of a lag moving between applications, which is very irritating. Also, the screen itself doesn't always know which way is up, which is a particular hindrance when you're on the move and if you're trying to check out an application or a web page. Often it'll think it's either in sideways mode or it's upside down, and will adjust accordingly even when you're holding it up at a perfectly vertical angle. Also onto the keypad now, and it's a QWERTY keypad, which is generally something we approve of. Unfortunately in this instance the keys are clunky, very hard to use, and generally just a bit irritating when you're trying to type. We decided not to just take my word for that, we got somebody with much smaller fingers to have a go with the keypad. So Deirdre, you've been playing with the Pam Pre here for a few minutes, just trying out the keypad. How did you find it yourself? Um, it was a bit small, it could have been bigger and I had to use my nails to use the actual keys because they're quite hard to use. We field tested the camera at several events and we found consistently that the quality of the pictures was just plain awful. Very grainy shots really just not able to account for any kind of lighting situation or anything like that and in short it's just not good enough for a camera of the standard we'd expect better and it's a big disappointment while not in the same league as the iphone there's certainly no shortage of apps on the pan pre unfortunately that user interface problem we mentioned earlier comes back to haunt it badly in short, it takes far too long to move between apps, which is unfortunate because they've clearly designed the phone to be very easy for smooth movement between the various programs that you're using. Unfortunately, the phone itself is not capable of handling this. It's sort of like it's just running too fast to keep up with itself, and that's a big letdown from the user experience perspective because there's so much to do, and you're going to want to do it all, but the problem is you're just going to get sick of waiting around to do it, and that just isn't good enough. The Palm Pre showed a lot of potential, but it simply does not live up to it. It's only going to get 4 out of 10. For Villa 81, I'm Emmett Ryan.